to integrate Firebase with the Flutter project for Android and uh, I will do the complete setup for using Firebase as a backend for your Flutter application. So first of all, we will create a new Flutter project and I will name it uh, Firebase project and uh, on the package name I will do con.shahroz.www and from here I will select Java and finish here we have a very basic uh, flutter project that we get uh, with uh, whenever we create a new project so from here uh, I will run my emulator and I will run this project on this emulator uh, here we have this project running successfully on emulator now let's uh, go back to our browser and uh, from there we will set up our firebase with this project uh, you need to go to the google.com and uh, search for firebase and make sure your google account is logged in and then click on this firebase.google.com and uh, here you if you're uh, you're logged in with your google account then you will see this go to console button click on it here you will get this option add project uh, by uh, by doing this we will add a new project to our firebase account so let's do that here you will write your desired project name my project name is uh, firebase project i will write firebase project on here you can write any name you want you can attach multiple applications with one firebase project and press continue uncheck this for now and later anytime you can enable all of these features from firebase project setup if you need any of these then click create project it will do some processing so you need to wait on here okay it's done our project is ready now click continue and uh, from here you can select <coughs> if you want to uh, connect your iOS app with Firebase then you will go with this option if you want to connect your web with Firebase then you will go with this option for now we will go with the Android and just because I'm connecting Firebase for my Android application in Flutter so I will go with this one and after that I will do for iOS as well and uh, here you need to enter your package name of your app uh, the unique identifier of your application to get the package name go back to your android studio and open this android folder uh, go to application folder app folder and then go to src <coughs> from here you need to select uh, main and then sres no no and then uh, this uh, android manifest.xml and here you will see your package name uh, just copy it whatever text you see under the double quotes copy it and go back to your browser and paste it on here and from here you can give any nickname to your application so in my case i will say firebase project you can write any nickname you want and for authentication for login and sign up and some other security related things you need to enter sha1 and uh, to get the SHA1 code, go back to your Android Studio and uh, select Terminal from here and uh, write CD Android. We need to go to the Android directory and on here you will say dot slash Gradle W sign in report and hit enter. And here you will see SHA1 code 
copy it from here and, and go back to your browser paste it on here and click register app and download this uh, json services uh, google services.json file click on it and it will be downloaded in your uh, downloads folder go find that file and copy it from here go back to your android studio and paste this file inside this app folder this file contains all the necessary information about your uh, firebase and flutter project connection now go back to the browser again click next from here you need to copy this class path inside this dependencies section copy it and go back to your uh, your android studio and this time we need to find gradle.build file inside android directory here you will see gradle.build project level paste that code on here and go back to your browser leave rest of the stuff as it is and from here you need to copy this plugin copy it and uh, go back to your android studio and this time we need to find build.gradle inside app folder here you will see that and here you will see apply plugin section hit enter and paste that whatever you copied from browser uh, replace rd with apply and write plugin on here and make sure your indentation is correct with the above two commands okay go back to your browser and click next and click continue to console and that's it we integrated our android application with the firebase let's see if it's working fine now we need a firebase uh, library uh, into our flutter application to get that library go to google open a new com uh, new tab and search google.com and here search for firebase core and here you will get the package on pub.dev click on it and copy this firebase core package from here and go back to your android studio open pub.yaml file pubspec.yaml and paste this package right after this cupertino icons and click pub get then go back to your main dot dart and make your main method async just because we are gonna wait until uh, firebase is in initialized here you will say uh, widgets widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized and here we will wait and we will say firebase dot initialize app and enter semicolon and that's it run your project again if it runs without any errors which means your you, uh, your firebase is connected successfully with your flutter app run it again okay better if you stop it from here and run it from scratch okay we got an error and handle exception or right, we'll establish connection with the uh, okay uh, better if you close your android studio and open it again and now go to your terminal right flutter clean and now right flutter pub get and now try to compile your application again for that first we need to open our emulator again and compile the application again okay here you see your application is successfully running on your emulator which means you have uh, integrated firebase into your project successfully and in the next video i will 
let you know how to connect your Firebase for iOS application. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.